Hey guys, um, I wanted to build um, a newsletter app that will help me publish and send out emails from um, my my email account, but each morning send you guys out an email for the PPC, but I want to create a, an app to manage that. So hopefully that sounds uh, interesting to you guys. And so I'm going to create an ERD diagram because that's one of the first things I like to do is make sure I've got the data defined, okay? And uh, I've, I've created a, a copy of my Jumpstart kit, as you can see here. And what I'm gonna do, it seems like my computer is being slow again today. <laughs> and what I'm trying to do is get at this video and, and uh, control here and delete it but for some reason I can't select it so that's a good indication to me I need to leave and come back in okay so I'm gonna go into the newsletter app and uh, let's create a new table here okay so I'll create a new table and let's call this content post okay so I want to create this app that can be used for PPC but could be used for all kinds of stuff okay so we have a content post um, I haven't quite decided if what database I want to use for this um, I think for now I'm just gonna go with SharePoint as a data source. So I'm going to create a new SharePoint site and I'm going to call it newsletter app SharePoint. Okay, and I'm going to click on next. Make myself the owner. All right. So we're going to have a content post since this is SharePoint. I'm going to say ID here. And I'm, of course, going to have title. And I'd like to have some type of a description uh, that will be multiple lines of text. This will be single line of text. This will be an, and and uh, I don't think I'm going to mess with the the types because the types don't correlate between SQL Server and SharePoint. Okay. So inside a PPC, um, we've got the Let's say the date published, okay? And I, I just said I wasn't gonna put any types in here, didn't I? <laughs> All right, leave that there, okay? Date published. And something else we could do is You know, let's let's keep a field in here for at least we'll have um, notes, okay? And then I want to keep separate the um, the communication about that post into a separate um, separate table, okay? And. I like to have a field here said um, ready ready to publish okay now why do we have a ready to publish and a, a date published because I could have 10 content posts that are ready to publish 
but I'm going to post them over the next 10 days, okay? And then those dates will reflect the days that they go out. Um, and I just said I wanted to keep things in a different table for, um, for the communication of the publishing, okay? So, you know, content posts could be in draft mode, which would be the opposite of ready to publish. Okay. So I'm trying to think through this. Okay, I'm just gonna, gonna start creating this other table. And sometimes when you create ERD diagrams, guys, you start putting fields and I'm like, nah, I'd rather that be in a different table. Okay, so there's a post and over here, I'm gonna say content publish, okay? And I'm going to give this an ID and a title, as we would expect with uh, SharePoint, okay? Now, let's say I were to publish, now, now think about this, this isn't just for PPC, this is for um, all kinds of content uh, and, and other content creators, not just myself, okay? So what I'm gonna put in here is, the platform and you know what i'm going to do i'm going to say platform id <laughs> because we have another table here for um publishing platform okay put a title here So I could have YouTube, I could have school, I could have Twitter, I could have all kinds of different platforms. And then based on that, let's see here. There's a platform ID. This should go here, right? Yeah. And uh, over here in the content publish, I wanna have content post ID okay and of course this would go link up to this and I'll say publish time and that will be a date and time Something else I could do is say, hey, this is going to be scheduled. Okay. And that would be a yes, no. Okay. Is it scheduled or not? Because this content published, this could have, these records could have been created for us. But if it was scheduled, if there's a blank published, well, if there's a published time at tomorrow and we have it set for scheduled, then we should probably have a Power Automate flow that will go out and find these and send out the emails for us. Okay. And for the content post, let's say um, <laughs> content source. Okay, because I can have content all over the place, really. I could have it in YouTube, but let's just talk about video content. I could have it on YouTube, I could have it on Loom, I could have it on Wistia, I could have it on Vimeo, um, just all over the place, really. Um, so, and I might have the same video on all of those places. So what we probably wanna do here is call this content, sources, content hosting, okay, and uh, there's our ID, 
be. So. Alright, so I'm gonna put in a title. And we'll see, we'll say, um, Mm hmm. Well, this could be the publishing platform. Okay. ID. And um, when you create ERD diagrams like this, guys, you, you don't don't um. Be paralyzed from over analysis. So I'm sitting here thinking through things, and sometimes, sometimes you just need to. As soon as you think of something, an idea for something, you want to put it out here, and it's okay to change it. It's okay to move things around and delete a table and all kinds of stuff, because we we haven't even begun to create this in the in the data source in SharePoint. Okay. And uh, for the content post, I want this to be, I'm gonna column here, content post ID. Okay, and then I will draw this here. I think this is good. Um, I might just proceed with this this type of schema. Save that. Um, okay. And then I will see you guys tomorrow as I expand on this.